Hi there and a very warm welcome to day eight of the 10 elements of writing. I uh, really hope you're enjoying the writing prompts and I'm back today uh, with another element of creative writing and uh, a writing prompt in order for you to be able to engage with it. So hopefully you're building a, a daily momentum, a writing habit that you're going to continue even beyond uh, these uh, 10 days. And if you're wanting to get your teeth into something bigger, then um, go to my website mariafranklin.co.uk I have books for authors with big projects you can undertake I have creative writing courses uh, that are online so do check those out if you are interested in taking things a step further okay so uh, today's uh, element is a uh, narrative tense so we have two options when we choose which tense we're going to write in. We've either got uh, past or present tense. They're the, the two uh, main tenses that we have available to us as writers. Uh, and whichever tense is chosen, the, the biggest uh, thing is just to re uh, make sure that that remains consistent for the duration of the, the story or the, uh, the poem that you're writing. Uh, the longer the piece, the easier it is for the tense to slip believe me I I'm speaking from experience there so past tense is the most uh, uh, normal and obvious choice that um, we writers go to uh, this relates back to the days of verbal uh, storytelling and uh, relating tales and certainly when writing autobiographically past tense seems to be the more natural way of writing because you you are writing a story of something that has actually happened uh, but it is also useful um, to, to experiment with present tense and just consider the effect that might have. We'll, we'll come to that in a moment. So let me give you um, a, a brief example of past tense firstly. Um, and this, this is a tiny little extract from my novel, The Man Behind Closed Doors. Paul sat, set, I'll put my teeth back in, I'll start again. Paul sat staring into space whilst he reluctantly spooned cereal into his mouth. His insides churned with every spoonful, yet he knew he needed every ounce of energy to get through the day before him. This was the big one. It was possible by the end of this day, he might know his fate. So that's in pa past tense. So I've used words like was, this was the big one. And using uh, the uh, the ED on the end of uh, verbs, churned and uh, stared and spooned. So these things have all happened. So then let's move into present tense. This is becoming much more popular in storytelling. Uh, it gives that sense of immediacy and brings the reader along on the journey. Uh, as a thriller writer, I write most of my um, work in present tense. I think it just, it um, probably uh, creates a little bit more suspense as well because the reader's actually experiencing the action as it unfolds. So I'm going to reread that same passage from before but I've changed it into present tense. Paul sits, staring into space, while he reluctantly spoons cereal into his mouth. His insides churn with every spoonful, yet he knows he needs every ounce of energy to get through the day before him. This is the big one. It's possible by the end of the day he'll know his fate. So that's present tense. So you can just see there's a bit of a difference there. Um, and I do think there the more natural tense is uh, present tense. Um, but it's going to be really useful for you to experiment with this as a writer. And it just gives you another writing uh, tool to have in your, in your writing toolbox. Okay, so your prompt for today is to think of a time when you've anticipated something. Uh, so this can be autobiographical. It can be something from your own life where you're waiting for something to happen or anticipating an event. Um, and I'd like you to write the run up to that. Um, and how you were thinking and feeling and what you were doing and perhaps what you were saying if there's another character involved. So uh, an anticipatory scene, uh, firstly write it in, in past tense, so um, using the, the was and the verbs that have already happened and writing about it as though it's in the past. Uh, you could approach this in a fictional way as well, so you could completely make up um, a character, you could go back to 
to your character that you created um, back in on, on day three. You can use your setting that you created on day four. Uh, you can bring a secondary character in that you've already created. Uh, so you don't need to do more work if you don't want to. You've got your characters there. Uh, so past tense firstly and then rewrite that entire scene in present tense as though it's actually happening now and carry your reader uh, along through the story um, and then choose your favourite if you are um, a, a Facebook group member um, in, and you're in Writerly Witterings uh, the, the new name for the Facebook group then post your favourite uh, into the group for everybody else to enjoy um, so uh, enjoy the uh, experience experimentation with tents and I'll see you tomorrow same time same place bye for now